All right, bro, we're here with, I won't even say new Kanye. I say old Kanye, if anything. So we got an OG version, I guess a, an old leak of the track Lifestyle from Kanye's Vulture 2. And now the only reason I'm checking this out, I actually did hear a little bit, like a couple seconds of this track. And, it, and from the few seconds I heard, it sounded so much better than the version we heard on the album. Now, I was saying... The only reason I'm even doing this is because I said this on my album reaction and I'm going to say it again now that I feel like if Lifestyle was produced and mixed properly to actually sound like a proper song, it could have potentially been the best song in the album. Like it sounded so, it sounded great. Like Todd Olsen sounded insane on there. Lil Wayne sounded like he had a couple lines on his verse, but I couldn't even make out what he was saying because the production was was just so distorted in that fucking sample in the background that sound in the background was just it was just so jarring i'm hoping listening to this the production will be better and maybe we'll see what the song is actually supposed to sound like i just want to hear this song in a proper in a proper manner because i again i feel like this song could be something great so we here bro if y'all enjoyed this video you know what to do let's get straight into it man i ain't gonna waste no one's time Let's go. Look at you, look at you, look at you. Oh, they got you staying on the rim, bro. You got the lock on the mini bar. You gotta get out of here, baby. You gotta get out of here, baby. baby. Was Todd Dolla Sign even on the hook on the original song? Yeah. Okay, so it was Kanye on this version. And you can already, bro, you can just hear it, like how it sounds so messy. Damn, why would he take Todd Dolla Sign off? He sounds great on here. Hold on. You gotta get out this Damn. He sounds passionate on this shit, bro. Oh my god. It's already better. It's already better. See what are you don't like why? Why would you, why would you change it? This sounds amazing. It sounds like it needs to be mastered a little bit, but the mix is flawless, bro. This shit sounds good. And Todd Dolla Sign on that chorus, like the way that he's singing and that Lil Wayne is coming in saying, I'm ready, I'm ready. It sounds like one of those pop songs from back in like 2010, 2009, bro. It gives one of those back in the day feels. This shit sounds fire, bro. I don't know why, bro. This gotta be overthinking shit, bro. Like, yo, just, you got good versions of songs, bro. Just keep them bitches, bro. She said she ready to go. 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 She said 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 she ready to go. I start talking dirty. I hear him perfectly. Yeah, I hear Wayne perfectly on this. Hold on, I'm gonna turn the volume up a bit. I hear him perfectly on this song. What? What did he say? Hold on. What the fuck did he? I twist my. Hold on, wait. Am I tripping? Oh my god, that's a bar. Oh my fucking goodness. He said, I twist my tailored spliffs tight at the end like Travis Kelsey. That's a bar. 
my tailored, my custom splits, but Taylor, obviously, you know, and then kind of the way that he said spliffs, I mean, you could hear that he's saying spliffs, but like, hit my tailored spliffs, it kind of sounds like Taylor Swift, tight at the end, like Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift, and Travis Kelsey is a fucking tight end as well, that's his position in, oh my goodness, I twist my tailored spliffs tight at the end, like Travis Kelsey, <laughs> Wayne, man, that's Wayne. Like Travis Kelsey. Mm. Got that BBL, then you put on a couple LBs, cause like you add in weight, like oh my god. A couple LBs. Kanye done fucking pissed me off, bro. Cause I ain't even know half the shit this man was saying. I couldn't understand anything, bro. I couldn't understand anything because the production and that dumbass fucking that sound, bro. This shit doesn't even have the sound, bro. This is perfect. Yo, this guy pisses me off sometimes, man. Kanye, bro. Like, you know the thing is for me too. I'm not even trying to ramble too long, but like the thing is for me too is that he delayed this fucking album. It was supposed to come out in March, bro. And it came out in August. So you mean to tell me you took an additional what? Fucking five months and you brought a worse version? Like, yo, what are we doing, bro? Just come on, bro. Like she wanna be Understand, bro your art is your art your your vision is your vision i i give you the benefit of the doubt 99 percent of the time but in a case like this like there's just no possible way there's no physically fucking possible way that you can think this is worse than what you put on the album I know he just don't give a fuck, bro. This man just don't care about the craft like that no more, bro. Because there's just no way. There's no way. There's no artistic perspective. I'm not hearing that shit, bro. Like, I'm an artist. I see shit different. I'm not even hearing that shit. Because there's no way, bro. There's just no way that you could put that shit on. Like, it must. his intention must have been to fuck up the songs, bro. Maybe he just wants to get to get sales through controversy. I don't even know why he'd need to do that, though, bro. He's Kanye West. Why would you need to get sales through controversy? You can just make good music, like what people know you for, and you'll get even more sales than you would doing the controversy shit anyway. I don't know. I mean, I'm glad I listened to this shit because I know at least now this song was once a great song. Hey, man, I ho hopefully Kanye changes it. Hopefully his team, you know, they, they listen to the people and they just get on his head about it. And they fix it and change it. Because I know that's what he does. He likes to just drop fucking studio sessions on the first day. And edit them over months and months of time. The whole way that that shit works is just so weird. But I mean. Yeah man. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. If you did you know what to do. I'm going to be listening to this shit bro. This shit is going in my playlist. That old shit. Yo, never going to touch my playlist ever in life. You crazy? Fuck man. I'm out of here.